I show you how to make my amaretto chocolate brownies up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. She's bringing the Trailer Park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget-minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, I've been on a brownie kick these days because they're so easy to make to take over to a friend's house for a cup of coffee, and there's so many variations that you can do. And today's brownies uses a liquor that I like called Amaretto, and it makes a great drink called Amaretto Sour, but this is an Italian liquor that is supposedly made from almonds, but nowadays it's made from apricot pits. But it's got a nice sweet taste, kind of like almonds, kind of like cherry, like the almond extract that we've used in some of the cooking projects that we've done. But it's just a great liquor that really adds its flavor to our brownies today. And it's amaretto brownies. Yes, that's right. It's got the taste of amaretto and chocolate. Up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making the amaretto brownies is really simple. And I've started off with a saucepan here. And what we're going to do is, I've already done it, I put a cup of vegetable shortening down there in the bottom. We're also going to need four ounces of unsweetened baking chocolate. I've got three already in there, but you can find this in a box and they're just unsweetened chocolate blocks. And you'll need four ounces, which is usually four of them. We're going to put this up on low to medium heat. We're going to keep on stirring it because we don't want it to burn. And once it's melted down, we're going to add two cups of sugar to that and then make sure that it's all melted down then too because the heat should do that. But if it doesn't, just cook it just a little bit longer. Then set that aside to cool because we're going to have to put eggs in it in just a moment. So let me get that started. Okay, our chocolate and our shortening mixture has melted down. Now we've got to add the two cups of sugar and the heat should let this melt on down. Uh, but I've added that and we're going to set this aside to cool for just a, a few minutes. Uh, we don't want it to go back to hard chocolate, but uh, we just need it to cool down just a little bit. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, our chocolate mixture has been cooling for a while. What we're going to do now is we need the amaretto and we need two tablespoons of that. So go ahead and just add some right on in there, just like that. Now, I've got four eggs right here that I've beaten up, and I'm just gonna pour those right on in there, and we're gonna mix this until it's well mixed. Okay, we beat our eggs into the chocolate mixture, and now we're gonna add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour until it's well mixed, so go ahead and do that now. I'm still mixing, but you also need a half teaspoon of salt right on in there too. That helps with the baking, so I'm just gonna finish stirring this and I'll be right back. Okay, we have our amaretto brownie mixture all mixed up and I've got a 13 by nine cake pan that I've sprayed out here. And what we're gonna do is just put it in the cake pan I preheated the oven to 400 degrees, and these are going to bake for about um, 20 minutes. Um, you're going to have to keep your eye on them because they could burn, and that would not be a good thing. And 
While you're doing this, you could probably fix yourself an amaretto sour. It's very simple. It's just the amaretto and some sour mix. And of course, a little cherry in there would be really great. But I've got to spread this batter out. So let me spread this out. And we're going to be making a frosting out of the amaretto liquor too. And it's got taste of chocolate too. And it's just so great to go on top of these brownies. There we go. And we're going to pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes. So set your timer. These brownies go really great with an amaretto frosting. And it's really simple to make with some powdered sugar, some chocolate, and butter, of course. And I've got a saucepan here. And I've got a one-fourth chunk that's a cup of butter right on in there. And I have one ounce of the unsweetened chocolate. We're going to melt this down up on the stove top until it's melted. Don't you burn it. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I melted down the chocolate and the butter for our frosting mixture. And what we're going to do is add a dash of salt right on in there. Just a dash. And then we need two tablespoons of the amaretto liquor. So let me go ahead and add that right on in there. Two tablespoons. And um, then we need um, two tablespoons. I use coffee creamer half and half. You can use milk if you wanted to. So two tablespoons of that. And then we need uh, two and a half cups of powdered sugar. And you're just going to blend this together. Maybe you need to stop a little bit and then mix some in and keep going until it's well mixed. Okay, our brownies have cooled off a little bit and we finished our frosting. You might have to add a little bit more powdered sugar to make it the consistency that you want it. But what we're going to do is just spread these on top of the brownies and make it look really pretty. And I've got some sliced almonds here and we're going to sprinkle those on top too to make them look really special. So I'm going to finish this and check back with you in just a moment. have it my amaretto chocolate brownies and look how pretty that looks with the amaretto frosting on top that we made and then I put the sliced almonds up on top because the liquor that we use the amaretto is supposed to be made from almonds but it's made from an apricot pit I don't know but it sure is good it makes a great drink and today we made a brownie out of it and I can't wait to try this so I'm gonna get a little bit of the frosting and some of the brownie this is definitely a fork type of um, brownie here mmm taste that chocolate flavor and the amaretto wow sure got a kick with that and it's nice and sweet and the frosting is just so homemade tasting and and the crunch of the almonds up on top and wow this sure is a great brownie I hope you get a chance to make my amaretto brownies, and if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And of course, add me on Google Plus. I'm there too. Hit that subscribe button and tell your friends because I've got some more cooking shows coming from the trailer park test kitchen real soon. I love y'all and I hope you enjoy the brownies. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Fun pride in the double wide.